The Texas Longhorn football team is on the road this weekend up in Fort Worth, but it will be without its marching band, all due to COVID-19 concerns. The smaller pep band will also be out of commission. KXAN's Daniel Marin has more on this pause in the music. They're the soundtrack to the scores and the music that fuels the fans. But the Longhorn Marching Band has been temporarily silenced, it appears, by COVID-19. The university did not elaborate but released this statement, quote, out of an abundance of caution, the Longhorn Band and Longhorn Pep Band are pausing their practice sessions this week due to COVID-19 protocols and will not be able to perform at Texas athletics events. That means no band at Saturday's road matchup against TCU and no pep band at this week's volleyball matches. I was there the other day versus Rice. I was sitting right next to the marching band and they were having a great time. UT student and football fan George Saig says though he won't be at this weekend's away game, he's bummed to hear about the band. There's so much fun, but if they're not there, they kind of and it lowers the enthusiasm. As for COVID protocols on campus, last week we told you the university is no longer notifying entire classrooms of positive cases, only those who were in close contact. And because UT is a state entity, it takes direction from Governor Greg Abbott. That means vaccines and masks are recommended for on campus and events, but they are not required. And the university said it would not be doing interviews about the band, but I asked several follow-up questions like, did anyone in the band or faculty actually test positive? How long could this pause last? And what are the safety protocols in place at practices and performances? I have not yet heard back. Live in the newsroom, Daniel Marin, back to you. Thank you so much, Daniel. Right now, there are 68 estimated active cases of COVID-19 among UT students and staff. It is important to note that these cases only account for those who actually got tested at a UT clinic. Just this month, there have been more than 3,300 cases of COVID-19 reported among students. That number does include testing from Austin Public Health as well as students who self-reported. Most of those cases were caught through university testing. For faculty and staff members, there have been more than 900 cases of COVID-19 reported this month.